When it comes to protecting data on macOS devices, it's really important that we look at enabling File Vault encryption to protect the data at rest. Let's take a look. From the Intune Admin Center, we're going to head to Devices. No, we're not. We're going to head to Endpoint Security and down to Disk Encryption. And you can see I don't have a disk encryption policy set right now for Mac or Windows for, for that matter. But let's look at Mac. We'll choose Create Profile. For the platform, we'll choose Mac OS. And the profile, we'll choose File Vault. This is a very simple configuration process for this profile, so we can get through it in just a few moments. We'll choose Create and we'll call it Mac OS File Vault. Choose Next. And we can enable or not configure File Vault. It isn't quite as simple as that. When we choose yes, we get some more options to set, but not many. We'll choose yes. And here we get to choose the personal recovery key rotation frequency. So between one and 12 or not configured. Uh, it, I'm, in my case, I'm gonna go with 12. And then we also need to fill in this field here, which is, reads a bit confusingly, but it says escrow location description of personal recovery key. Really, this is where we just tell the user how to get their recovery key if they need it. So this is kind of a descriptive message to a user. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and type this message here to retrieve a lost or recently rotated recovery key. Sign into the Intune Company Portal website from any device. In the portal, go to Devices and select the device that has the file vault enabled and then select Get Recovery Key to get the current recovery key from the website. So that's done, nice and simple. And then number of times allowed to bypass. Now, in my case, I would probably have described this as defer rather than bypass, but this is the number of times that a user can defer the encryption of their device. In my case, I'm gonna go with, uh, rather than choosing a number of times I can bypass it or defer it, I'm gonna choose no limit and always allow me to defer it if I need to, just for my testing. Here we get to, defer the prompt until the user signs out. We can only choose the yes at this point, so that's an interesting um, setting. I, I can't choose yes or not configured or no. So there you go, that's gonna happen. Uh, disable the prompt at sign out, so if the user signs out, then the prompt will disappear. And we can also hide the recovery key, which would mean that it wouldn't present itself during the encryption process, which sounds like a good idea to me. So we'll choose next. And Next, and I'm going to assign this to all my devices and choose Next and Create. I'll let that deploy to my Mac OS device right now. It can take a little while, so I'm going to end the video here and I'll see you next time.